This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to use the XLOOKUP, COUNTIF, and SORT functions in Excel to calculate course grades. Here's the data for our problem. Professor Rao would like to accurately calculate the grades for 58 students in his Operations Planning and Scheduling class, OM455. The data has been collected in an Excel file. Download that spreadsheet and complete the following requirements. For requirement A, the course average is calculated by weighting the midterm and final score 50% each. Use the XLOOKUP function with the table shown to generate the course grade for each student in cells E14 through E24 and complete the table shown. Requirement B asks us to use the COUNTIF function to determine the number of students receiving each letter grade. If your answer is zero, enter zero. Let's open up our downloaded Excel data file and complete the requirements. Here we can see that in cells B6 through D10, we have the lower and upper limits corresponding to each course grade, ranging from F through A. In cells B14 through C71, we have the midterm and final exam scores for all the students which have been used to determine the course average in column D, and we'll use that to determine the final course grades in column E. Requirement A asks us to use the XLOOKUP function which searches a range or an array for a match and returns the corresponding items from a second range or array. Click on cell E14 and type an equal sign. Then start typing XLOOKUP to bring up the function. When you see it, select it from the list or press tab. The first parameter in the function is asking us to specify the lookup value, which is the course average in column D. So click on cell D14 and then type a comma. Now the function is asking us to specify the lookup array which we will identify as the lower limit for the course grades in cells B6 through B10. So select that range or type B6 colon B10 and then press F4 to lock in the range so we can copy the formulas later without any errors. Type the comma again and now the function is asking us to identify the return array which is the list of final course grades in cells D6 through D10. So select that range or type D6 colon D10 and then press F4 to lock in the range. Type the comma again and now the function is asking us to identify what to return if it can't find any matches. So we'll enter NA for not applicable by typing an open quotation mark, then typing N, forward slash A, and then a closing quotation mark. Enter another comma and now the function is asking to specify the match mode with options of 0 for an exact match, negative 1 for an exact match or the next smaller item, positive 1 for an exact match or the next larger item, or 2 for a wildcard character match. Since we specified our lookup range to be the lower limit of the grade range, we want to use exact match or next smaller item. So type negative 1 or select the correct item from the list. Type a comma again and now we're asked to specify the search mode with options of 1 to search first to last, negative 1 to search last to first, 2 for a binary search sorted in ascending order, and negative 2 for a binary search sorted in descending order. We want to perform a binary search that relies on the lookup table array being in ascending order, so enter the number 2 or select the third item in the list. Enter a closing parenthesis and press enter or return and you should end up with a course grade of D in cell E14. Now we can copy that formula down to all the other student grades. Click back on cell E14 and either simply double click or click and drag the little green square in the lower right corner all the way down to cell E71 which should have a final grade of A. Next, since we're asked specifically about the grades in cells E14 through E24 in the requirement, select those cells and shade them a different color. I'm using green, but you can use whatever you like. I'll also select the rest of the grades in cells E25 through E71 and shade those blue. Now for requirement B, where we want to use the count if function to determine the number of students receiving each letter grade. I'll create some column headings over here in cells H12 through H14 to include course grade and number of students. I'll boldface the headings and center them. Now let's include a list of all the grades from A through F, but instead of manually typing them, let's take advantage of the sort function in Excel, which sorts a range or array. Click on cell H14, type an equal sign, and start typing the word sort until you see the function and either press tab or select it from the list. The first parameter of the function is the sort array 
which is the list of course grades in cells D6 through D10. So select that range or type D6 colon D10. Then type a comma, and the next parameter is the sort index, which is a number indicating the row or column to sort by. Since there's only one column in our selected array, we can leave it blank. So just type the comma again. Next is the sort order, which is a number indicating the desired sort order, one for ascending order, or negative one for descending. Since we want to list the grades in order of A through F, type the number one or select ascending order from the list. Type the comma again, and the last parameter is by underscore call, which asks us to specify if we want the sort direction by row or column. Since our list is vertical and in rows, we want to sort by row, and therefore want to select or type false. Now type a closing parenthesis, and press enter or return, and presto, you should have the letters A through F in rows H14 through H18. You can center those if you wish. Now for the number of students receiving grades in each of the grade categories. This is where we'll use the count if function, which counts the number of cells with a range that meet a given condition. Click on cell I14 and type the equal sign. Then start typing count if until you see the function appear in the list. Select it or press the tab key. And for the range, we want to identify the range of cells from which we want to count non-blank cells, which is the student letter grades we created in requirement A. So select or type the range E14 through E71, then press F4 to lock in the range. Type a comma, and then for the criteria parameter, select the letter grade in cell H14. Type a closing parenthesis and press enter or return, and you should end up with a total of 15 students who received a final grade of A. Now copy that formula down by clicking back on cell I14, then double click or click and drag the little green square in the lower right corner down to cell I18 and you should end up with 18 students with a final grade of B, 13 students with a C, 10 students with a D, and 2 students with a final grade of F.